Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, let's do a Bath and Body Works candle review because why not? Um, raspberry mimosa. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I thought I was kind of done with buying uh, spring and summer candles when I did my last Bath and Body Works candle haul. I posted that, I think, last Sunday. If you missed it, I'll link it down below in the description box. But I really, when I went into the store and when I ordered online, it really was my intention to just get fall stuff. But then I saw this <laughs> and I also saw pomegranate lemonade, which I'm currently burning downstairs. You'll see my thoughts on pomegranate lemonade um, next Sunday. I haven't burned that one quite as long as this one, so it's not quite ready to be reviewed. However, oh boy, this is so good. I think this is new. I don't recall ever smelling anything quite like this particular scent before at Bath & Body Works. So I do think this is new. First off, I love the packaging. I think the older I get, the more I appreciate simplicity. Um, and this blush colored, uh, slightly opaque, glass with that kind of linen style label that is just kind of centered on the front there is just perfection. <laughs> I love the packaging of this one. Um, the color scheme of my house, uh, sort of my accent colors tend to be grays, blushes, and mauvey plums. So this fits right in. When I first got this, I I think, yeah, I had gotten my order um, from online first and I took a quick sniff of this just as I was inspecting to make sure that none of the um, candles were broken and immediately fell in love with it, even just giving it a quick sniff during like my little check of the box. And when I went in store, I specifically went around looking to see if I could find more of this and I did. So I did purchase a couple more in store. You guys, this one is so good. And I'm actually really impressed with the burn of it. Now, mind you, I am not quite to the halfway point with this one, but I have lit it now on three separate occasions and it's been really consistent so far. With my Bath & Body Works candles, you tend to find out, at least I do, I think with my experience, I tend to find out pretty quickly whether the candles are going to go downhill just based on the type of wicks that they're using. Um, and I like these wicks. They're the ones that, they're thick, but they, they don't, they're not as thick and stubby as like their thickest wicks. It's like the next step down, if you will. They're the ones that kind of slightly bend over, but they never really disintegrate. Um, you can trim them very easily. And for me, I just kind of trim the part that like starts to like curve over a little bit. I don't get huge mushroom tops with these particular wicks. I, I think they're the best. Now, I don't know why they can't use, I'm sure it has to do with the types of oils and wax formulation and all kinds of science and stuff that, you know, I don't know anything about. But that being said, I like these wicks. <laughs> So let's talk about the um, the notes of this um, and then we'll get into like the burn and that kind of stuff here in a second. So let me pull up, because um, I took a picture of the bottom. I can't find this online anymore. Uh, I don't know if it's sold out online, but mm, the next time that there's a sale, I might go pick up a couple more of these. Not necessarily to burn this year, but to have for next year. This is one that I'm fairly certain because I love it, is not gonna come back next year. <laughs> that is just how it goes with Bath and Body Works and me. So the notes of this are sweet raspberries, rosé sorbet, and a splash of champagne. Of course, with essential oils. Um, okay, you know what this smells like? Do you guys remember the old school Bath and Body Works sun ripened raspberry? I feel like that's the raspberry that they based this raspberry off of. It is kind of, it's a little tart and tangy in a way. Like honestly, this smell makes my mouth water. Like you get that sweet raspberry note, but then it's amped up with this like 
almost like sweet tart type of tanginess. It's really, really good. Is it crazy authentic? No. <laughs> but is it sweet and sugary and girly and feminine? Uh, yes. <laughs> I feel like there should be a herd of unicorns dancing around this candle. It's so fun, you guys. The raspberry note is perfection as far as I'm concerned. Again, it's not authentic raspberry, but it's that same type of candied, fruity, artificial raspberry <laughs> that you get with the sun ripened raspberry from their body care line. As far as the rosé sorbet, I, I don't, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's not really something that I pick out. Um, it's mostly just candied raspberry. And as far as the splash of champagne, I don't get any like effervescence in this at all. Um, I, I mean, this would be a great drink. Like a raspberry mimosa sounds delightful. And I might do that this weekend because I do have raspberries and I always have a little bit of champs on hand. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> but this is this is great, you guys. It is mostly just sweet candied strawberry. It is, um, it's great. Like, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's great for finishing out the summer, to be totally honest, which is why I originally picked this up. I thought, you know, I have one more month of quote unquote summer burning in me before I switch over to fall stuff. And I was really starting to run low and I'm kind of getting a little tired of my usual summer burns. Um, the Flamingo Beach, the Raspberry Tangerine, um, the Berry Waffle Cone, like all of my usual go-tos this summer, I still love them, don't get me wrong. And I will love them next year, but I've just burned so much of that. And you guys have seen that in my weekly home fragrance roundup. I'm just kind of growing tired of it. So I wanted something different, something fruity and fun for the rest of the summer. This, this is it, you guys, it's perfection. In terms of strength and throw, um, I put it at a solid like medium. The strength is right around like six to seven, the throw is right around six to seven as well. So it's not my strongest Bath and Body Works candle, but it's it's fine for what it is and I, I enjoy it. I actually wouldn't mind having a couple of these going. If I had a bit of a quote unquote backup stash for this one, I would totally have several going at the same time, which is oftentimes what I will do with like the Berry Waffle Cone or the Flamingo Beach, a sense that I have a lot of. Um, but I almost don't wanna like waste this one it's so good you guys so strength and throw roughly around the same number there um i wish maybe a little stronger but at the same time i feel like this could be one where a lot of people would start complaining about it being too um too cloying so maybe the idea was to kind of pull back a little bit to avoid that cloying potential there but it's really good, you guys. If you pick this one up and you have burned it, let us know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. I always like to see what you guys think about these candles as well. Um, all I know is that for me, this was a huge two thumbs up. By the way, a little bit of a spoiler, the pomegranate lemonade is also really great and pairs fabulously with this one. Um, so if you can find this in store and maybe get a hold of the pomegranate lemonade online before they do away with it or before it sells out, because I do think that the pomegranate one is an online exclusive. So, um, yeah, if you need to, uh, you know, <laughs> get it before it goes, I would suggest doing that because I think that they are really heavily pushing the fall now, which I don't have a problem with, but just to warn you, if you like to burn summer scents through September, you might wanna grab a couple just so that you have them. So anyway, two thumbs up for me, huge winner. I hope it comes back, my fingers are crossed. I will enjoy probably a couple of these next month and maybe save one for next summer and then burn it then if it doesn't come back. Um, but yeah, this is gonna pair really nicely with any summer scent that you have going, whether it's from Bath & Body Works, from Homeworks, from Nest, wherever. I just. 
I think a fruity one like this can kind of go with whatever. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Please be sure to subscribe if you are new and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.